So today I wanted to review real quick on my multimeters. Now I use these on different reviews. I test out a lot of electronics and I need to be able to get some uh, hard numbers on a lot of these things to make sure that the core, different cords are running at, you know, how they're supposed to and how they're displayed. And so uh, these are the three that I use. Now, most of the time I'm doing two products at once. So I use these for the most part, but I've been doing a lot more USB-C products and it's just simple to have this quick little inline one right here. Now I'll go over some of the differences and kind of go over just features of each of them. But if I was to, um, you know, pick one, my favorite, it's going to be this one. And it's mainly because I like the screen size, the display size and uh, the functions and, you know, everything it does. Now this one is a great, a great tool too. This multimeter is, I think it's one of Amazon's choice multimeters, um, but just for the display size and functionality. I think this one is uh, gonna be my favorite. Now, um, this is the quick one. We'll go over this one first. Uh, the fact that it's just USB-C in and out. Um, if you're worried about which you know side the screen goes on, they all rotate. So this one will actually rotate all the way around. Uh, this one flips and this one flips. So if you double tap, it should flip over. Now double tap, flip back over. And it has two different displays, so it keeps, keeps it super simple, but I'm mainly doing um, voltage and wattage and since nothing's plugged in there's no watts coming out so you know it doesn't change and it doesn't hurt to have the temperature so you can see if you have a bad cord and it's just overheating or something if it's coming from here or if it's coming from the block now again downfall to this one is just that it's USB uh, type C now the second one I'm gonna go over is this one and so I did it in this arrangement just to show uh, if you don't have you know, the adapter, you don't want to use the adapter, which this one doesn't have an adapter. It has the USB-C adapter, just so you got a little bit more of an extension, but you can always use um, your USB cord that goes like to lightning, because this doesn't have a lightning port. So instead we're going from USB, uh, sorry, micro USB in and then USB out. So it's just, you know, it's measuring what's coming in and stuff. So right here, we're getting a good reading. And uh, this is also the Amazon choice again, uh, but it's, I rate this one number two. It just, this one is just more streamlined. I like the, uh, the tech look of it, but again, multiple different screens. You can kind of go through them and it also has, you know, a, it has a different language on one of them. It's just one of the display screens, but it also has a graph. And so this is a graph of, it shows the voltage and all that. And so it shows any crazy changes and you can see it's pretty consistent right there. So it, uh, that's a good current going through it. Now, uh, it does have a display, I'm sorry, a setting. So you can go into the settings and save things, erase things. Um, you can flip the screen in there. Uh, but real simple, uh, doesn't have as big a screen as this one, but it's an easy one to use. And again, I use multiple testers at a time. Uh, so I definitely need to. Now this one comes with USB, the micro USB. But again, if you don't want to use that, just go USB to your regular micro USB cord instead of you know, lightning. Now on this one, it's a little harder to move around since I have that in line, but this is uh, my choice. I like this one because I like the size of it, I like the screen. Um, it just, it, it, it's really cool looking the fact that uh, you can see the board straight through it like that. So I thought that was really cool. Now, uh, if you go, the help will always tell you your options for this screen. And so that button just automatically, whatever screen you're on does it. This one, the top one will flip it. So you can see whatever angle you're trying to look at, it'll flip that screen. Then if you go here, you can see it'll change different modes. And again, if you press help, it'll say tell you if you have different options on that one. Um, it's just kind of going through it. Now here's a different kind of graph. And so it kind of shows on here, you know, the graph like that, and it'll adjust. That was voltage, this is amps. Um, this will change, you know, if you want to do Fahrenheit or Celsius, couple different things right there but this has been a great meter and I really like using this one mainly for the display the brightness you can adjust it so if this is too bright you can go down or you can amp up the brightness but again USB they have the USB C in and out micro USB plug is here here's the USB out and then yeah USB C so two buttons and two buttons so uh, really straightforward pretty simple to use. Um, each of them come with instructions if with uh, in-depth. As far as numbers and voltage, they all have different um, high voltage sensors and ampered sensors. Uh, it's all in kind of the description and all the stuff that comes with it. 
So, uh, but these are the three that I use, and uh, that's kind of a little bit of the difference between all of them. Again, this is Amazon's choice, this is my choice, um, and this one is just, um, these are made by the same company, but this one's just more of a straight USB um, meter. So I like them all. These are my three multimeters, and uh, these are the ones I use to test out all my electronics.